yeah, I'm not I'm not quite sure what we're gonna see here, but I'm sure it's gonna be a pretty high level match. Yep, I heard Bayo and Min Min, so the expected characters coming out, no counterpick shenanigans. There it is. Amarks versus Baron. Uh, again, this is going to be one of our highest level players here, right? Amarks. Yeah. Um, been doing PR. really well. Got a lot of PR wins this last uh, season. And I'm not just talking RVA PR, but like wins on Walugi, wins on Stretch. Uh, just a lot of these like very high level wins showing that he's, you know, not just like an RVA threat, but he's just a threat in MDVA. Yeah, the real deal. Uh, We're but gonna see if you know, uh, Baron can get a quality win here off of a marks I think I heard a rumor that Baron was the best player from Charlotte I believe well either Charlottesville or Harrisonburg in that area he's if you look at his uh, smash GG uh, data it just like it's just first second first first second second third first nice. like it's just runs down the list of him what we just saw on screen now was here uh, <laughs> yeah a zero to death coming out from a marks from a marks just, yeah. uh, taking the Bayo stock without taking any percent and yeah. doing a great job of just keeping Bayo off of him. Yeah, playing super evasive. I think that's one of Bayo's kind of downfalls in this game is sometimes it's just very hard to get in and do your thing safely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the heal slide is very punishable. Uh, you can actually just bait it with shield. Nice recovery there using mm -hmm. the uh, dragon arm to protect himself on the way back. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Baron could have done more to try and steal that stock because I think it's pretty apparent so far that he has to steal some stocks. Yeah, uh, you're going to need to see an edge guard here. And Bayo can do it. She's got yeah. a, lot, like, a lot of really like lingering aerials. Oh, Ooh. and that's going to be all. Going to survive. Yeah, good but recovery. Amark's just great with that uh, dragon arm. Yeah, and there's the ram ram. This is the most ridiculous yeah. edge guard in the game. You're <laughs> standing on stage edge guarding. Yeah, and that turned into uh, Baron almost taking the stock to Amark's kind of stealing that reversal. Yeah, good stuff uh, for Amark's here. Strong lead. Uh, as long as he doesn't get gimped or something, which is going to be uh, the win condition for Baron, I think we're going to see an Amark's game one here. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Maybe kind of putting himself oh. somehow. Ooh, so putting himself somehow in the uh, in front of the dragon arm before it can recover, uh, forcing it not to click the stage. Something like that. Yeah. All right, gonna get a combo starter here though. 140. Can you find the stock? That's how it would start. Yeah. And we're seeing him kind of looking for these witch times, but kind of in places where you would expect it. So they're mm -hmm. just not connecting. Oh, that could Ooh. have been enough smash out of shield right there. But we've got the not only uh, powered up arms, yeah, yeah but the rage good. too. And the three stock coming out from uh, A marks. Yeah. Looking very comfortable in the uh, minute match or the uh, Bayo matchup there. Yeah. Great showing from A marks. You know, has a lot of practice against Money Mike here, um, as potentially Jules as well. Yeah. So knows the matchup, or at the very least, the matchup looks bad for Bayonetta. Yeah. I, I wouldn't doubt that either. Yeah. So we're going to see if uh, Baron maybe pulls out a different character here, or uh, do we counterpick, or do we? Nope, or we're no. sticking with the tried and true. I respect it. Yeah, I would assume he's just probably a Bayo main Solo down the Bayo. line. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes when you have uh, such a strikingly different character than the rest of the cast, um, you know, you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to pick Bayo too, like Lucina, Marth, Roy, etc. You know? Yeah. Uh, you're just, you're just kind of stuck on, this is what I put my money into, so I'm... I'm going for it. I'm going to yeah, see what I can do. But Town and City, a great pick, in my opinion, for Bayonetta. Yes. You get earlier kills off the side. Uh, plenty of room in the sky for those combos. So let's see if uh, let's see if the Min Min can repeat that performance of the last game. Yeah, that was so strong by Amarx. And this is also not a bad stage for Min Min either. No, you gotta I, I consider it to be very strong for Min Min. Yeah. Lots of space for you to run around on, but you can yeah. get those early, early kills off the side. That dragon laser looking kind of broken on the stage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big combo in the air. coming out, 58%. Kind of evening things up, finds the first, I think that's the first time I've seen heal slide hit. Yeah. I'll this go is back here. Oh, nope. Mm -hmm. No, gonna just reset neutral here. There's a nice hit from Baron, but not able to convert off of it. Oh, nice. Not gonna get the grab there. Amarks wants that powered up dragon arm. That actually is like a big thing for uh, Min Min. If you keep them from getting their grabs, the dragon arm just never gets powered up, and that's a, you know, that's an easy kill option for this character. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, kind of like take that away from them. Oh, oh look! But there it the is. Witch time. There's the power up. And yeah, the witch time was helping so much in the ABT matchup. He was getting so many witch times, but here against Amarks, Amarks not falling for it. It's kind of interesting too. I feel like a, in a lot of places, even if Amarks gets witch timed, he's pretty far away since Min Min literally just covers the whole stage. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of punish Baron's gonna find. 
And that's going to be stock one, but much better game for Baron. 130% uh, on Min Min. You're, you're going to get a kill here soon if you can land one of your uh, you know, one of your more powerful moves. That back air is pretty strong. Yeah, you know, just uh, whatever that up tilt or whatever Bayo does to pop them in the air to a back air. Yep. Very like strong Falco, option. But, you know, maybe not as cool as Falco. <laughs> in my opinion, you know. Sure. <laughs> it is, it, Bayo doesn't go, I just back aired you, Einstein. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I, I'd probably like her better if she did, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Instead, she says some crap like, dreadful. Yeah. Oh, behave. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jabs is going to kill. kill. Yeah, yeah, that move got buffed the last, like one of the last patches. Yeah, she's got those Bowser Jr. jabs now. Yeah, she does. <laughs> okay, it's heel sliding right into that grab. Oh, looking for the dragon laser there. This It's powered up now, now that we found a grab. Oh, oh this delivered safely <laughs> right back to stage. Another slide. Uh, good DI, though. Great DI, right to the corner. That's what you want to see. This is the tallest. One of the tallest. Uh, is it the tallest still? The tallest glass one? Uh, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure about Kalos, perhaps. but It's, it's this incredibly Kalos tall. Or, uh, or Holobash. And I think it's this, though. Yeah. yeah. All right. Back throw coming out. Still a good lead for Amarx. Can he stretch this? Yes, Ooh. he can. Finds the stock at the ledge. The iframes run out there and just going to catch the Dragon Laser in the face. Yeah, catching Baron hanging out just a little bit too long considering the options. And, yeah, you know. it's, it's kind of hard. You want you kind of want to take your time on Legend against Min Min and make sure you're doing the right thing and mixing up your timings and your patterns. Yeah. But, uh, wow, he has not landed which time like at all. Yeah, I don't think it's been a single one. Uh, uh, Amarx just continues to hold shield there. Okay. Once it's out, it's super reactable, too. Running in for a grab. I do like how Baron's trying to place himself in between the ledge, trying to catch that arm. And there's going to be the Ooh. first switch time. Nice. And this is the last stock game. You know, uh, Baron showing some adaptation here, saying, you're not double three stocking me. Oh, starts a little bit of a combo there. Nothing crazy, though. Yeah. Kind of playing a slow, kind of well thought out neutral right now. But Amark still kind of get, getting the uh, upper hand. Oh. Another heel slide right into Amarx's loving shield. arms. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> loving arms. Yeah. There's nothing loving about those arms. Those <laughs> noodle arms. And they literally set on fire. Yeah, after exactly. That. <laughs> oh, and that's Whoa. probably going to be it on the small side blast zones. Great adaptation, though, from Baron, bringing it to last stock after getting kind of smoked game one. So, yeah. you know, Good solid performance. And Amarx, that's going to be Amarx advancing into winter semis. Yeah, a very, uh, very strong showing there. Yeah. Uh, has Amarx dropped a game today? Let's, let's find out.